Yo, yeah, what's up everyone? Buzzy Games Beth here today. Let's learn how to change the particle texture anytime we press a button. So in this case, let's learn how to change the texture using proximity prompts. Inside of my workspace, I have a part with a particle emitter inside of it already. So I'll go ahead and get set up and uh, yeah, let's get started. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and create our, I guess you could say control panel with our buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and create a, pan a uh, table with two parts on top of it, and each part is going to represent a texture. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is a set spawn into small parts. And what I wanna do is add a proximity prompt in each of these parts. So go ahead and change the proximity prompt properties to however you would like and how you can see fit with your game. Color them to however you would like. And once I'm done on my end, I'm gonna actually rename my uh, proximity prompt parts to star and heart. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab all of our parts, group it together, and last but not least, let's go ahead and add a script inside of our model itself. So we have a few variables. Uh, one which references the model itself and our proximity prompts inside of the star and heart parts, as well as our particle emitters. We have a triggered function where if, depending which proximity prompt we are triggering, then the texture of our particle emitter will be equal to that asset ID. So feel free to use the asset ID that I have there or any image that you guys have. And that's it. Let's hop inside of our game to test it out. Hold for stars and ta-da. And, and then if we hold for hearts, then hearts will appear. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.